kitchen. Today we are going to prepare carrot and orange juice. And the topic for today is verbal abuse against children. And so that is what we are going to talk about. What do you think? So we'll take our juice. We have orange, we have carrot, we have ginger, we have sweet now sugar. So the first thing we'll do is So we are done squeezing the juice out of the orange. So we are going to set it aside. So verbal abuse against children. One, bear in mind that if you abuse people verbally, you abuse them emotionally too. A lot of kids are suffering from emotional and verbal abuse in the hands of family members, friends, uh, family friends, and a whole lot, even among teachers. There are students who, there are some students who are not performing well because they always get abused by their teachers verbally. Parents, some parents can tell their children to use. So you tell this to the child and the child grows to become irresponsible person or useless person. Then you see somebody is behind it. You don't know that you are the one who is behind it. The point I'm trying to make is let's be careful the way we abuse our children. In our culture as Africans, specifically Ghanaians, kids don't have the right to talk. And so if a child is hurting, the child won't say. It's recently that the kind of training and child rights and those things is giving some children the opportunity to speak out when they are hurt. So they say, mommy, mommy, you insulted me. But some time ago, a child can't say, mommy, you have insulted me. You, you have to take it however it is. Some kids have grown up with some kind of pain in their hearts all because of what somebody said to them. Stop comparing your kids to each other and making some of them feel they are useless, they are losers because one seems to do far better than the other. When I was a child, I went to my mom's friend with my mom and she looked at me and said, you are ugly. Even your brother is beautiful than you. Your brother looks better than you. She said it jokingly, but that thing hurts me. So growing up as a child, I thought I was ugly. I am not beautiful. Wherever I go, I see myself as an ugly person. Even up to secondary school. And because she said it jokingly and she laughed, my mom didn't think it was that much of a big deal. Because she thought, oh, it's nothing. But I was hurting inside. Even after secondary school, I still felt I am ugly. And so, I would, when I go to school, I would not want to associate with my friends because I am ugly. You see, she has said it. It has passed and gone. For her, she thought she was joking. But she didn't know those words she was saying. She was hurting me and she was killing my self-confidence. So I grew up thinking that I am ugly. But it took one of my brothers to make me realize that I'm not ugly. Therefore, when I even go out there and I meet people and say, Ah, you are beautiful. I feel, oh, they don't mean what they are saying. They don't mean what they are saying. I'm not beautiful. Because of that growing up, I used to admire my pictures a lot. So I could stay indoors and be admiring my pictures to think that, oh, I am photogenic, but physically... I am not beautiful because of somebody's words. You don't know you are hurting someone you don't know. You might be hurting someone very deep. A child somewhere you have abused there verbally and this is causing emotional abuse. The child is being abused. Let's be careful parents. The way we, we when they go wrong, the kind of way some people can go to the extent using those words um, in, in our language, Kwasia, the Bible says Raka. And you, you abuse your kids this way, 
and they grow and they become kwasia or that raka the bible is talking about and whom will you blame what you say to your children really have effect on them therefore let's check the way we abuse the way we talk to our kids and abuse them make them feel they are foolish some kids are not performing well in school because of some of these ways let's be careful some kids don't want to try they have a lot of fear in them because they have been abused verbally and emotionally and so they see them so they think there's nothing good in them so they will not even bother to try we need to check that i'm going to leave one of the carrots and i'm going to add it to the ginger and and blend the reason being that i want to blend this one without ginger because i will use the chaff for something else without ginger okay and so let's be mindful of the way we talk to our children some of these abuse we give to children now some children have grown up to be to be excellent in abuse sometimes you, you go out there and you see some kids quarrel and the way the kind of words they use for themselves i'm like wow children at this age they can say this profane words and some of these abusive words that even sometimes even adults you find it difficult saying they will say it all because their parents are using it at home they use it at home and so these kids are, are used to they insult each other anyhow for me i am put off by people who, who joke with insult even if you are joking like in in a cancer station even the boys boys they are joking they will say that and i'm like wow you can say this so easily it's not it didn't if you meet people like that it didn't just happen they, they grew up with it they lived in an environment or among family members who abuse them verbally and so they are used to it so they grow and even when they are joking abuse verbal abuse is part of their language they can never say anything meaningful without abusing each other verbally okay let's blend it okay so this is okay i'm going to strain it To check it and stop abusing our kids our younger ones they grow with inferiority complex they grow and they become dangerous they become abusive Those other kids cannot even be saved around them because of this abuse emotional and verbal abuse we give them let's learn to give them words of encouraging words that will put them in the right direction they will go wrong but you can discipline them without necessarily abusing them parents are giving their children the opportunity to speak up you realize the number of children who are hurting and who sees themselves as inferior all because of a word a mother or a father or a brother or a family member or somebody in the neighborhood said to him or her let's stop abusing people's children calling them names laughing at them making them look stupid let's stop it and rather discipline them in the right direction okay let's blend it. contains the ginger and as i said ginger is awesome adding ginger to your carrot juice you will love it you will love it so please 
when you are making it add ginger and you will love the taste it tastes so great now dispose it because of the ginger in it okay so we have our orange squeezed sugar and our carrot juice in the ginger you can decide to strain it again with cheesecloth or some something that will be able to give you to take extra chaff from it and make it more liquid but i like it this way and so i'll just add the orange to it okay and i'm using my wooden spatula to stir it together and i'm going to add my sugar but i'm not going to use all the sugar so don't be scared that they say my sugar is too much okay and so just a little because um orange has sweet taste carrot has sweet taste so you don't need a lot of sugar in it and so my dear like i was saying we should be careful when it comes to the way we we talk to our children kids in the house stop abusing them you might not know they'll be around you do everything and one word you said to that child is affecting a whole lot of things and you don't know and so please don't abuse them verbally and end up abusing them emotionally when you are out there and somebody abuses your child or you see someone abusing some child talk against it it's not right stop calling them names they grow and they end up abusing you the parents too a lot of kids don't respect their parents because of this verbal abuse you give them and so let's stop it and be more considerate oh so this is our carrots and orange juice you will love it mm? and so please try it and let's see how it goes and also my dear do you want to learn how to sew do you want to be able to make your own dresses at home then follow my youtube channel on clothing the name is max clothing M A A C apostrophe S and the clone is K L O T H E N. Subscribe to it. I give videos, tutorials frequently. Where when you watch and follow, give yourself maximum six months, you'll be able to sew your own dress. Take advantage of this and and follow me. Subscribe, share the videos. Also, do you have a story you want us to discuss, a topic you want us to share or discuss while we are cooking? Send it to my email address pendulum2 at gmail.com or follow my facebook page ajoa aka and then send it as a message to my page and let's discuss all this together once again do not abuse kids verbally you abuse them verbally you abuse them emotionally you abuse them they become abusive in future you abuse them they become dangerous to others they are not safe for other children. You abuse them and then they grow up with inferiority complex. Or they end up being disrespectful and vagabond. Let's stop this verbal abuse we give children children. We give to children. The Bible says he who says raka kwasia hellfire for you. <laughs> I'll get you the quotation. I'll put the quotation on the screen so that you read it. And so let's be careful. We might be joking and we'll be using it. It's not nice. Our words be positive in the life of kids. Let children want to come close to you because they know when they get close to you, you are going to give them words that will build them. Thanks so much for watching, my dear. God richly bless you. I will climb, I will soar, I'm undefeated.